The average value of a function over an interval can be found using integrals, namely the average value of a function f on a closed interval a, b is given by 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. This is a simple consequence of the approximation where we take some sample points at which we evaluate the function and then take the average of these values and then all we do is write 1 over n as delta x over b minus a remember delta x is b minus a over n so this is valid letting n go to infinity delta x goes to zero and the expression that you see here this approximation turns into this definite integral okay let's compute some averages calculate the average value of the function f of x equals x squared on the closed interval between negative one and two pause the video and input your answer in the box hope you paused it and i found this average to be one so to find this average value we need to take 1 over b minus a which in this case is 2 minus negative 1 times the integral from negative 1 to 2 of the function x squared dx now uh, the fraction there is one third um, times the integral from negative 1 to 2 of x squared dx an antiderivative for that uh, function is x cubed over 3 and its change from uh, negative 1 to 2 is well the factor of the th uh, third I can factor out and then I have 1 over 9 times uh, the net change of x cubed as it goes from x goes from negative 1 to 2 I get a ninth uh, times um, 2 cubed minus minus 1 cubed and that is a ninth times 8 plus 1 that is 9 9 over 9 gives us 1 let's look at the next question calculate the average value of the function f of x equals the square root of x on the closed interval between 0 and 9 so pause the video and input your answer in the box hope you pause it and I found its average value to be 2 again we find the average value by taking uh, the reciprocal of the length of the interval so that's 1 over 9 minus 0 times the definite integral from 9 so from 0 to 9 of the function square root of x dx now here we have a ninth times the integral from 0 to 9 of the square root of x dx or in other words the integral of x to the half so that has an antiderivative that is x to the 3 halves over 3 halves its change as x goes from 0 to 9 we need to consider this factor of two-thirds we could um, factor out and then we are left with 2 over uh, 27 and the net change of x to the 3 halves as x changes from 0 to 9 is what we need to consider now um, 2 over 27 times 9 to the 3 halves is what we get because at x equals 0 we get 0 for a contribution this is the square root of 9 raised to the third power um, therefore we get 3 cubed that's 27 therefore we get 2 i hope you enjoyed this video and i see you in the next one